But above all, above all, I want to pay tribute to the people of Cuba and to the Cuban-American community in the United States. Jose Marti once said that everything that divides men is a sin against humanity. Clearly, the events of the past, the harsh words, the provocative and retaliatory actions, the human tragedies, all have been a source of deep division that has diminished our common humanity. There have been too many days of sacrifice and sorrow, too many decades of suspicion and fear. That is why I am heartened by the many on both sides of the straits who, whether because of family ties or a simple desire to replace anger with something more productive, have endorsed this search for a better path. We have begun to move down that path without any illusions about how difficult it may be, but we are each confident in our intentions, confident in the contacts that we have made, and pleased with the friendships that we have begun to forge. And we are certain that the time is now to reach out to one another as two peoples who are no longer enemies or rivals, but neighbors. Time to unfurl our flags, raise them up, and let the world know that we wish each other well. Estamos seguros de que este es el momento de acercarnos dos pueblos ya no enemigos ni rivales, sino vecinos. Es el momento de desplegar nuestras banderas enarbolarlas así arcela saber al resto del mundo que nos deseamos lo mejor los unos a los otros. It is with that healing mission in mind that I turn now to Larry Morris, Jim Tracy, and Mike East. 54 years ago, you gentlemen promised to return to Havana and hoist the flag over the United States Embassy that you lowered on that January day long ago. Today, I invite you on behalf of President Obama and the American people to fulfill that pledge by presenting the Stars and Stripes to be raised by members of our current military detachment. Larry, Jim, and Mike, this is your cue to deliver on words that would make any diplomat proud, just as they would any member of the United States Marine Corps. Promise made, promise kept. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the raising of the flag and the national anthem of the United States.
Ladies and gentlemen, please remain in place while the official delegation departs. Thank you. 